All right, so how does forgiveness come about? Forgiveness. <laughs> is seeing error as limitation because this is a physiologic limitation due to brain function itself. That's what Jesus Christ said, to forgive because people who are not integrous cannot help but be that way, cannot help but be that way. So the forgiveness then, people say forgiving is very hard to do. It's not hard once you understand this, that the person is limited by their own brain physiology. And what did Jesus Christ say about them? He said to avoid them. He said, he said don't attack evil, avoid. Don't, do not become engaged with it. Do not try to prove it that it's wrong. Uh, don't go to war with it. Don't get into an argument. Throw their emails away. Oh. <laughs> 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 so we don't answer anything that calibrates under 200. We, they bring in a message as they was the calibrate. If, that, if it's under 200, we just throw in the waste basket. <laughs> what happens at consciousness level 200? Which one are, arise at through karmic uh, advantage and devotion, etc., through prayer and through forgiveness and through the mercy of God, is now the brain shifts uh, sides and there's the production of Kundalini energy. What shifts the brain chemistry from here to here is the emergence of Kundalini energy and with Kundalini Kundalini energy emerges the etheric body, the etheric brain, the etheric brain. So the processing that goes on here is instantaneous through the etheric brain before it even gets to the prefrontal cortex. And therefore, this person sees things differently. And one of the reasons they see things differently is because that's their intention. I see things differently now is uh, a stock phrase in 12-step groups, A Course of Miracles, uh, anybody spiritually devoted will eventually begin to see things more benign and feel sorry for people rather than hate them, feel sorry for them. I don't hate the Komodo dragon, but I don't step into his cage in my bare feet. So it doesn't mean to be stupid. <laughs> Sometimes I think it's misinterpreted as being stupid, you know and tell you, oh, it's Komodo dragons, they won't hurt you, that, that, they're okay. <laughs> they're okay. That's the last thing they said. You know, last thing said. <laughs> so being blind to danger uh, doesn't mean to be oblivious. Uh, you can love the animal and uh, not bother with them, uh, but I wouldn't get in the cage with them, yes. All right, so below, below 200 then, you have a different, uh, there's a, column is named Pitts, and he, put, he coined the term, which I've quoted in the current book, that these people on the left here live in an alternate reality. This is an alternate reality, and it's a different reality from this level here. Uh, one reason it's a different, it literally is, Pitts was right, even though he's, just, he's a columnist. They actually have a different reality. They process things differently. They see them differently. They experience them differently. Over here, you experience things more uh, benign, above 200, yeah? OK, so if something is uh, destructive, out of respect, out of respect for his reality, I don't provoke it. So that's respect, yeah? I respect the Komodo dragon. So I don't make them wrong, I don't hate them, but I, I respect them. So unfortunately sometimes uh, idealism reaches the point of being the fool, thinking that you can ignore the reality of what it is. Don't you see that's disrespectful? If you don't think certain people in this world are out to kill you, you're not being respectful of their belief system. And I believe the international problems we have is a failure to not only to understand uh, that different viewpoint, but to give it due respect. To give it due respect. If somebody's carrying a loaded 45, <laughs> you don't stick your fingers in his eyes. 
That's disrespectful. <laughs> OK. So I believe in respecting one's energy. Is your, your biggest safeguard is your respect for them. Because out of respect, then you feel obligated to understand them. And when you understand them, you're not so likely to stumble into offending. OK, next one. 